fucked up, dude. Have you ever heard of Ghost Main, Bill? No. So, Ghost Main, this is fucking great. I'm not really, I, I guess I don't like him as much now. I went nuts for him for about a week. But Ghost Main is, he is a, uh, sounds like Gucci Main. Like the music, the music, the beats sounds like Gucci Main. Sounds like fucking. I don't even know what to. It, they call it Chicago Trip or something. It just really deep bass. I guess like Lil Pump, you know. But the you know Lil Pump is the bitch is hating on me because I'm ignorant. Because I'm mm -mm. that what I was playing on the way to Riot Fest. That uh. Gotcha. D Rose. Uh, anyways, he, he the guy who has one word per song, mm -hmm. a drumstick thing or whatever. Any, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, so that's how the music is for this. But this guy has really great lyrics about satanic rituals, and and he's completely black metal, and all his fucking albums are like black metal logos and shit. It's fucking beautiful. I can't believe it. And he's yeah, he's like a huge fan of Bathory and and Demu Borger and. I don't know. I think it's great. So the great thing about it is, is I get into these things. I obsess over one thing, and I download all their shit, and I get into it. And then, of course, I'm like, so when did they come to town? Well, guess what? He's coming to town next month. One of one of three that are all ages shows at Reggie's. So I got a show to take Gavin to. <laughs> and I got. I mean, I'm kind of sad that it's a rap show. May, it may be something more epic because he really likes Electric Light Orchestra right now. But I'm not paying seven hundred dollars to see somebody almost half die on stage. Like, Are they coming to town? I don't know. G Gavin said they might be, but yeah. hmm. I'm not paying that much money. And, and then to have binoculars for a show like that, I'd rather well, have. Where are they playing? At Reggie's. That, oh, that electric. Rapper. Wait, ELO. Oh, well, no, I mean, I'm guessing like United Center, or obviously it wouldn't be outdoors now that it's cold as shit. Right. I kind of want to see Macabre at Reggie's on the twenty sixth, right? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, that'd be cool. Do you know what Macabre is about, Bill? I can guess by the name. Spooky stuff. Spooky. Yeah. Christmas stuff. It's twenty sixth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, they like. Uh, they're really obsessed with all serial killers. Okay. And all of their songs are. They've been together for twenty five years. I think I got into them in like high school, right? Yeah, sounds right. And yeah, and they just like all this shit is uh they're very accurate about their histor historical things. Like they just had an album called Dahmer and it was literally just a biography of Dahmer. And what they what they do is that makes it super catchy death metal is they take like uh kids jingle jangle sing along and they convert it into death metal. But then the lyrics are about the killer, and they cover every fucking killer. Wait, can you give me like a like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? But now it's about Albert Fish. Yeah, or or Vampire of Dusseldorf, or Jack the Ripper, or Charles Manson, or who else is there? Night Stalker, yeah. uh, Mary Ed Bell. Gein. Yeah, Ed Gein, the Black Dahlia Murderer. And... I think they. Oh, I am the Unabomber. <laughs> I guess he, I guess he's a serial killer. I mean, I mean technically, yeah. Is that an all ages show? Can you bring Gavin I, I, to that? I, I don't think so. No, because I actually I I filtered it by all ages just to take him to a show, and the, yeah, Ghost Man was like the only one. the the other ones was just like. It wasn't. It wasn't good. It was just like oh, a cover of, I don't know. David Bowie band or something. I, I I don't know. Take me to that Japanese band that you went there once. Oh, for. Key Lander Z. Yeah, I, that's not all ages. It's at Emp Emporium. Did they already play, or is that? It's it's still coming. It's uh November eleventh, I think. Okay. And it's at Emporium. Sure. Pretty sure it's not sold out, because they're advertising the fuck out of it online. Yeah. Do you have to get tickets, or is it like just yeah. cover at the door? Or? Uh, you could do. You could get it at the door. I got them online because. Well, did you hear what happened with them? Mm. -mm. So for those of you who don't, uh, for those of you who don't know, Peel Energy is they're a Power Rangers band, 
Japanese punk band. Sound absolutely great. They sound exactly what you would imagine a Japanese punk Power Rangers band to sound like. The thing that's great is they have awesome costumes. They look exactly like the scenes where the Power Rangers Transformer is fighting. And they their, their live show is fucking spectacular. You've seen them, right, Bill? No. Oh, you have? Oh. Mm-mm. You and oh. Adela went that one time, but not me. Spectac- we took Ross, Dino Bosco, and, and he fucking hated it because they'll, they'll like they'll, well the whole time uh, yeah maybe he shouldn't get in the, the whole time he he had an itch that one of my brother's friends was in the closet gay and so he could he just had anxiety all night because he thought that he's gonna get his ass grabbed or something so the whole night he was just super pissed off because he thought the gay guy was hitting on him when he'd be like outside or something it was pretty hilarious. Sounds pretty funny. But uh, during the show, they they would like a uh, play. Um, they'll, they'll they'll have like a uh, solo where they prolong it, and they'll fucking take they'll take a guy in the from backstage dressed up as a bowling pin, and then th- the two band members mosh and throw themselves into the bowling pin, and then they actually take bowling pins out and have the crowd uh, throw people into the bowling pins, and then they had like a there's a guitar monster. He's like a flying V octopus that uh, always crowd surfs. They usually always, like in the middle of their set, take their instruments and just play in the crowd. It's a really engaging show. And it's simple like Ramon's, you know, punk. It's J- Japanese Power Rangers punk. And uh, so what happened with them, they, because it's so fucking goofy, and the singer, he's like almost... 60 like he's like our parents age and he's doing this shit he dyes his hair every he has he dyes his hair every day yellow he's knocked out teeth because of these punk shows and he like uh a lot of the members they were like yo i'm sick of this shit like this is real childish like i need to focus on because their backgrounds are super like what you would think of as like the you know average uh Japanese person to grow up just a uh, peaceful family you know you get a job you come back home for dinner just every uh, average any family you know and they're just uh, I just I just feel like Japanese is more peaceful more like uh, spiritual because Americans just fucking families hate each other but anyways um, so he like it was just depressing they made a documentary called Mad Tiger it was on Netflix and they made it about like the Pilander Yellow, the singers like kind of like dip, fall into depression because uh, his best friend Pilander Red, the guitar player, was leaving. Oh. And it's actually really depressing because he hadn't been to like Japan in all these years because his family kind of like denounced him like, oh, you're this fucking whack job. You're, you're completely bald, but you're still spiking your hair and dyeing it yellow every week. <laughs> so, so, so he like has to go back, but, and then like, he'll walk in the streets with his family and all these like little kids will walk to, ah, peanut the yellow, you know, like, so he's kind of like a shame to the family. So he's like, oh, I'm just going to chill here and be kind of, you know, find out who I am and find out why I was such a tyrant in the band. And that was like, that was supposed to be the end of the band. So now that they're coming, that's why I bought my tickets online. Yeah. You're fucked up, dude.